Well, a big massive uh, thing is happening in Preston very soon. Yeah, there's a there used to be a nightclub near near to the bus station. Um yeah, just just half just to the right hand side of uh, St John's shopping centre. Well, there's been an announcement where the charity shop is on the corner of that block is to go and the car park on top of it as there has been a planning application for that part of Preston. Um, they're talking about allowing a new residential tower block being put there. And, uh, yeah, it, it looks a bit of an eyesore. But the main problem is it has a tower block in front of it yeah and that tower block belongs belongs to the DWP um yeah but one of the other things I'd like to see happen is the Derbyshire Hotel Apartments I want to see that go because I must admit it's an eyesore, an absolute eyesore. They did all the inside it, side of it and they did nothing to the outside. Yeah. It's a very old building, but the people who had it didn't even do any proper upkeep on the outside. It looked, it looked, and it still does, looks an absolute mess. The building needs taking down. And to be truthful, I don't think it's even safe inside for occupants to be in it. So, Preston Council, if you are watching this, get someone round there and basically start, well, get a compulsory purchase order on it and do it up. I know someone's going to be I know that someone's got a proposal for the lamb further down. But the way those um the way that building is, it's no excuse for it, you know. No excuse for it at all. And uh one of the things that you should be and it's on a major bus route. Who wants to see stuff like that in Preston? You know, PP, Proud Preston. I want that building is not something to be proud of. It's an absolute mess. So, Preston City Council, sort it out. Because it looks terrible. And part of the, I think it was where the Tesco was, further up on that street. What I'd do with that, I think it's called the Premier Buildings, I think it is called, a bit further up, there's a small area where the uh, where Pres Preston Council used to have its offices. Well, what I'd do, cut 
that part off. Knock that bit down and put some more housing there. Because it needs it. It really does. And, uh, well, Preston City Council, get your finger out your backside and do something. Don't be like Blackburn down the road. Uh, they've started there. Um, their redevelopment program it's a load of crap and what you should be doing is you should be putting new buildings up that will would be you know really good really nicely done and everything because the majority of the building work that Blackburn's having done is absolute crap you know what they're doing is what they're doing is they're going to move Morrison's across the road from the Dan to the Daniel Flight site, put a petrol station there, put a few um, apartments there. Then they're going to put something else there, that, which I can't remember what they were going to put because if it was any significance, I'd know about, I'd remember it. But uh, don't go making the mistakes that Blackburn made. You know, and the other thing is, I don't know why Blackburn with Dar Darwin Borough Council was meddling in your business anyway. You know, opening on a Sunday and all that sort of stuff. Um, yeah. Well, that's all I've got to say about that. And, uh, yeah. What you should be doing is encouraging developers to come in and start building some high-rise. Because, I'm sorry folks, but that's how you're going to preserve your green spaces. By putting high-rise up. And I've told, i said this time and time and time again. Yeah. That's how Salford is preserving their green spaces by putting high rise of high rise on their brown sites. And you're saying you're saying to yourself, well, people don't like li living in high rise. But the thing is, guys, we're a little island, you know, and we've got to make every foot of this island usable and you've got to have amount of green space for that and that's the only way in a lot of cases that you'll be able to preserve preser uh, yeah to keep green spaces in towns and cities that is the only way to do it there's no other way of doing it blackburn with darwin put decided to put little how put housing estates around it i'm sorry but that doesn't preserve green spaces it just doesn't Matter of fact, you're using your brown, your brown, brown sites more, you know, and then it incur incurs in, you know, goes on to your green spaces. Then, you know. So I'm gonna bugger off now, before I get mad. So three, two, one, click.